ஹை லர்னர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த லெக்சர் நம்பர் த்ரீ நான் கம்யூனிகேஷன் மாடல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஐஓடி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அகெயின் பார்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஐஓடி டிசைன் அண்ட் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் கோர்ஸ் ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹேவ் சீன் டூ திங்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் ஆன் இன்ட்ரக்ஷன் டு ஐஓடி செகண்ட் இஸ் வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ப்ரோட்டோகால்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஐஓடி ஸோ நவ் திஸ் வில் பி கம்யூனிகேஷன் மாடல்ஸ் ஸோ ஒன்ஸ் வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஆக்சஸ் டு ஆல் திஸ் திங்ஸ் வீ கேன் ஏபிள் டு டிசைன் அப் எனி பர்டிகுலர் ஐஓடி அப்ளிகேஷன் வித்வுட் எனி ஹிகப்ஸ் so first model here we have is client server model so this model we have been uh, doing over a period of time so most of the computing aspects have been started in the first client server communication so the simple model here is client server model so what you can see is we have resources here and we have a server here the server is pulled with the resources on a bidirectional way the client whenever give a request to the server the server will respond back to the client so this is how the way the client server model works so client server model is a very simplest model where we have decentralizing the server and the client resources and uh, the resources are in a separate thread tier so this is how the way first way communication model will be working in iot applications second is the publish subscribe model so as we have seen in the publish subscribe model most, most of the protocols like mqtt uh, dta dds data distribution service and mqtp most of these thing models we have been using publish subscribe model here so publish subscribe means we can see that there's a broker in between we have a broker and we have a topic 1 and topic 2 so topic 1 is subscribed by two different consumers 1 and 2 whereas topic 2 subscribed only by one consumer consumer number 3 whereas a publisher can send messages to these topics message to be published to topic number 1 is be a separate line and message published to topic number 2 will be a separate entity so that means those who get published for topic number 1 they will be subscribed and the consumer 1 and 2 will be getting those messages and consumer 3 will be getting this message so one example one good example you can think of is uh, let's say uh, again a patient is wearing a watch smart watch in smart watch there are two things body temperature um, a heartbeat of the particular person and the environmental temperature so that means the environmental temperature means the outside the room temperature so for suppose for example a doctor is uh, reading to a particular data so the doctor can get only two data from that one is the body temperature of the human being and the heartbeat whereas the environmental list you can able to get the room temperature of it so that means from the same device it been sent to two different topics so one topic one will be on for the doctor topic one and topic two will be for the environmental specialist so this kind of model we usually call it as publish and subscribe model so in the recent days in the in some of the cars or in some of the vehicles this mqtt is there so that means uh, whenever a car is broken down on a national highway immediately the car provider or the car uh, service center uh, they they can able to get the data remotely by accessing to the car's uh, dashboard so in the dashboard they have a mqtt broker and that will give uh, what is the purpose of this accident or what is purpose of the bro- breakdown of the particular car they can able to get the data so that is one method another method is once the car is given for the service so the in the service station they have a diagnostic uh, device uh, attached to the car that only the car service provider can able to access that by diagnostic information so that means once the diagnostic information has been accessed they can able to get a data about uh, what happened to the car so it's something like a black box in a aircraft similarly we have this mqtt architecture is available in some of the car manufacturer so push pull model so this kind of model we usually see that uh, the email uh, our emails in our mobile phones so usually emails in our mobile phones what happens as and when the email arrives so you can able to pull that particular from the local uh, ca- cache so that you can uh, able to read your emails so this is the push pull model so there are two models here fetch model and the push pull so push pull model means the publisher send messages to the queue so this is a queue here so in the queue the message will be pushed one by one to the queue so what happens is the message pulled from the queue then the consumer just sometime what happens is you are opening your mobile phone after let's say after 30 minutes of charging you take in the mobile phone and you can see that there are no emails that simply what you open the email app and then simply uh, swipe down so once you swipe down the automatically all the messages will be pulled so that is what happens uh, from the queue so from this queue all the messages will be pulled to the consumers the same model we call it as a push pull model so um, uh, the publisher will send messages to the queue so the queue will be having it see even that's what happens sometime you have if you maintain a email address in two different devices in one of the devices you have deleted it so maybe uh, within no time if you go and check the other device you can able to see what email have come because it will be there in that particular queue still it will the message might be existing in the queue so maybe after a period of time that also will be getting deleted from the queue too 
so this kind of model we call it as the push pull model so first thing is client server pub sub and push pull next thing is exclusive pair communication model so this is again like similar like client server communication but exclusive pair so in the sense that so for this pair for this so it is something like a, a relationship between uh, two different machines only those machines can able to communicate to each other so you can see that the first message is uh, the client is sending a request to the set up a connection the server is responding response accepting the request message from client to server message from server to client connection close request and connection close response so it is exclusive pair communication model means only these two devices can able to access only this client is eligible to access the server and no other things so it is something like a, a corporate uh, business partner seeing that uh, you have a a full fledged uh, project manager for this project so for any queries you can contact the project manager directly or you need not contact anybody else sorry you need not contact the uh, it's kind of something like a one point of contact the same way this client can be uh, getting every data from this server the server can able to uh, handle this client only so that is we call it as exclusive pair communication model so uh, there are four different models as we see in the client server Uh, push pull publish subscribe and exclusive pair communication model now we have uh, iot communication apis so what are the different kind of apis so why we need an api see for example uh, if a iot device senses a data after the sensor is how it can able to push or pull to the particular server or any uh, queue how how you can push the data how you can uh, able to publish it so what kind of apis or softwares are existing that's what we call as iot communication api so one thing is rest so rest based apis are very powerful because of uh, these days so even if you take arduino raspberry pi you can take node js you can say react js angular js so most of the scripting languages they are relying on this rest based apis so representational state transfer that's what we call as rest representational state transfer so we can see that we have a http client here rest our http client HTTP packet, get, put, post, and delete method, REST payload. It is on JSON XML. HTTP server authorization, REST uh, full web service. So, so completely from the HTTP client, it sends a value to the it sends a, uh, the HTTP packet is sent to the server. When the server, it just gets the resource uniform resource indicator. So the URL and other records. So what kind of records have come? What kind of Uh, sensing records have come everything will be handled by the resources will be sent back to the http server and their records will come back to the client so this is how the way rest based uh, rest based communication apis work so most of the web clients or even nowadays the mobile clients they can handle uh, using this rest uh, apis so design web services and web apis focuses on resources and how they are addressed and transferred okay so in this scan set see for example uh, i am accessing a url i am accessing a particular device which is connected to a ip address and six address which is mapped to a url so in the url as in there are five sensors let's say a temperature sensor an accelerometer and a magnetometer or a pressure sensor or a, a microphone sensor so there are let's say there are five sensors are available so in this five sensors which sensor what the whom who is having access and what kind of request is coming from the http client so i may be requesting only the uh, temperature request or i may be getting i am giving only the request on the accelerometer data so that means how the particular url is been fetched and accordingly alerted to the uh, client so that's what this is communication apis are doing so client server concerns clients not bother about the storage of the server so the clients need not bother about the storage the server can store any number of data server does not bother about the user interface of the client so the server also not bother about you have to use this client or this client or any client so the client can be using any server and the clients can think that the storage uh, can be handled by the server at any cost it is stateless so state lies at the client so earlier days the state fullness is lies at the server side so nowadays because of not bothering the server much so everything will be handled at the client side so the state less uh, the state lies at the client so the state being from one request to another request is completely lying at the client so this how the way we go for these kind of scripting languages node.js then angular js then react js so all these things uh, have been uh, 
handle at the uh, they, though they are the server side scripting but most of the requests handle at the client side itself so it is cacheable so most of the request at the client, client server will be cache so we can cache it uh, layered system so it is layer by layer it happen uniform interface so across devices it will have a uniform interface the code on demand so whenever you need uh, access the source code it can be provided to you on demand uh, with the help of this json javascript object notation so based on this json script so you can able to access the code on demand so this is one of the best communication apis that's available for iot so you can see that uh, get method post method put method and delete method so list all the rescuers in the collection you get info about a resource create a new resource generally now this post collection were not used so you can see that example.com api slash disk all the task example.com api task get info on task number one so let's say if you give task number one gets only about the task number one then create a new task from the data provided in the request so you can create a new task replace entire collection on which data provided in the request delete all tasks so you can delete all the tasks if you have a put request and finally delete request example um, api task list all tasks and uh, delete task number one so that means based on this collection uh, uri you can able to uh, get get method post method put method and delete method so using these methods you can able to request the particular uh, uri uniform resource indicator to list out all the tasks or to delete a particular task or to uh, post an information to a task uh, and whatever so these things the rest api can handle it there is another uh, communication as we have seen web sockets so it is mainly used in a tcp protocol so here we have seen again this kind of api is also very powerful nowadays uh, because of reliability because web sockets are very reliable because it's based on tcp protocol so you can see here a client server uh, request to set up web socket is given a request to the server response to acceptance so the data frames have been sent between the client and the server after the data close request to close the connection connection close the response by the server so here what happens is whenever a client server need to have a web socket so most of this uh, web socket base will be and the socket will be closed initially so whenever the socket needs to be open the client has to throw a request to the server the server will open a socket the further data communication happens then finally the client again place a request to close the socket so that the socket will be useful for some other clients so that's how the way the client web socket api's communications are being used so usually the web socket is mainly based on this java so any java application uh, they mainly prefer to use web sockets rather than rest with uh, rest based apis so thank you for listening to this uh, third lecture on iot communication apis